Hey guys, Eric Su here. Welcome back to another episode of Goality Lifestyle Podcast. This is episode number five of 14, and today's episode is all about exercise techniques that give you faster results. So stay tuned. All right, real quick reminder before we get dive into today's episode, I've already recorded several other podcasts, and so um, go ahead and check those out. Remember, these are from my new training program that's launching on September 20th. And in the meantime, I've got some fun things that you guys can do to participate in the building of this new program. Number one is naming this new training program. And all you have to do is submit a name, and if your name is chosen, you will win free access to this new training program. Now, if you submit a name and your name wasn't chosen, you will get a discount. So it's a win-win. Now that special website so that you can submit a name will launch on September 21st, this Sunday, coming up very soon as of this recording. All right, so hope you guys participate and let's have some fun. All right, so let's dive into today's episode. And this one's a really fun one because I'm talking about exercise techniques that will get you faster results if you do them. All right, so I just wanted to share two exercise techniques that I share with a lot of my clients. The first one is about cardio. Now, I know many of you guys are thinking about running outdoors after this winter, and um, it's going to be spring soon. So, um, and you probably are doing some cardio now indoors if you have a treadmill, um, so or have a track, indoor track that you can go to, right? So. Um, something that could help you out if you're new and you just want to um, start running or you want to improve your running if you're running already is something called a left foot exhale. Okay. Now I can remember a lot of my clients who've had uh, challenges with running and they just say they are a poor breather, right? That may be you. Well, poor breathing is common because we're never really taught, I think, unless you are some athlete or something, uh, how to run properly and breathe at the same time, right? And so one of the things that I teach is called the left foot exhale. It's something that you can implement right away. And so start off slowly, like walk and exhale each time you land on your left is a good way to start, right? And then pick it up to a jog and exhale on the left foot. And over time, you'll notice that um, you'll breathe more um, smoothly because if you think about it, your heart is a little bit more on the left side of your body and it's called congruent breathing. And so uh, every time you land on the left, you will exhale. And uh, so one of the things that I'm saying is exhale on the left, right? Well, it's going to be hard to um, keep that pace up if you are running very fast. So let me suggest that um, most often than not, you should be exhaling on the left if you are running pretty fast and you have a fast pace. Okay, so it, it will help you um, calm your breathing and help you with your rhythm as well. So a lot of benefits for exhaling on the left foot. Okay, so remember left foot exhale. Now, here's a bonus second one I wanted to share with you real quick here. And this is a fun one. So let's go right to it. All right, what you see right here is a front raise, and then soon you're going to see a side lateral raise. Okay, now what I want to talk about with this one is how you execute the move. And this is a fun one to talk about because I see a lot of people who do this exercise, and yeah, it is raising your arms. So there's a trick to this one that I find that helps a lot of people do this exercise safer and more effectively and so it's called lift with your elbow right and so if i demonstrate here and i raise my elbow up you'll notice that i am contracting my shoulder muscle when i raise my elbow okay if i extend my out, arm out that may be true but a lot of times what happens is that people raise their wrist up faster than their elbow okay and it um, diminishes the effect on the shoulder, okay? So if you're ever doing these exercises, notice where your elbow is in relationship to your uh, wrist, okay? And if you're ever in the position where your elbow is lower than your wrist, you're probably lifting the weight and not affecting the shoulder as much as you could by 
lifting through your elbow okay so watch out how you lift your arm and it's called lift with your elbow go ahead and try it this weekend if you're um, interested and let me know if you feel a difference okay so those are my two little uh, tips for how you can exercise more effectively for faster results all right that's all for this video uh, there's going to be a few more tips i'm going to be sharing in my future video so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you can get future videos just like this and i'll see you in the next one bye